All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 19, and we are going to be dividing uh, two and three digit dividends by multiples of 10. And the big deal with this is uh, we are going to be trying to go straight towards that standard algorithm. And we're not going to be uh, using any visual models here. We're going to go straight to that standard algorithm. And so what does that look like? Well, 90 divided by 40, so we're going to go over here and we're going to write 90 divided by 40. Now, first thing is, heads up, a ton, a ton of students will write it like this because they simply see it in the right order here or, and then they put it in over here and, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how often we see that. So be aware. Uh, that students are going to have to understand that when the number is in the front, it goes inside the house, and then the um, second number, in this case 40, is going to go kind of like outside of the house. Okay, now uh, we can use estimation to, under to know how many times 40 goes into 90. So using estimation, we can say, well, let's see, 40 is pretty close to 50, Oops, 90. There you go. 40 is pretty close to 50, and 50 times what equals, and 90 we could say is really close to 100. So we could say, well, 50 times 2 is 100, so that's a nice estimation tool. Another way to do it is think of your skip counting. We can do, well, 40, 80, 120. Oops, right there. We've just passed our 90. So we know that there's two different techniques to figure out that 40 times 2 is going to give us something really close to 90 without going over. So that's 80 right here, and we subtract, and so our answer is 2 remainder 10. And then it says we're supposed to use multiplication to check it. And so we're going to do that down here, and since we've got 2 remainder 10, the way to check it is to say 40 times 2 is 80, and then 80 plus our remainder, which happens to be 10, is equal to 90, and since we got 90 here, and we were dividing into 90, that, that's kind of confirmation that we've done it correctly. All right, and in this problem, again, we're going to divide and check using multiplication. So we are going to start by writing 280 divided by 30. And we're going to use our little skip counting. And actually, I'm going to erase this and scooch it over a little bit. And we're going to put 30 into 280 right here. Uh, a couple of ways to figure out what our multiplier, what our quotient should be. I'm going to use skip counting. 30, 60, 90... 120, 150, 180, 210, 2, oops, whoa, 240, 270, 300. Oh, we finally crossed over that our goal of 280, and that tells us it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It tells us it should be 9. Um, now, that's not how Engage New York does it. Engage New York does it in an equally fine way, which is to say, well, 30, uh, oops, let's do it, 280, divided by 30, and do some rounding, and we can say, well, 280 is about 270, divided by 30, we don't need to round, and then in that case, Cross off the zeros, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that's another way for us to figure out our quotient. We have a choice, a couple of different options. So we're going to continue multiplying. So 9 times 30 is 270. We subtract, we get 10. So our remainder is 10. So our answer, our quotient is 9 remainder 10. Now if we want to check it, what are we going to do to check it? Well, we take the 30 that we divided by, our divisor, we multiply by 9, that gives us 270, and then we take the 270 and add in our remainder, 
that's 280, and because 280 is exactly what our dividend was, or what we were dividing into, uh, we are pretty confident that we got it correct. Let's practice this with a word problem. It says a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16. Find the number. So interesting. So this word problem, we have a division problem. It says a number divided by 40, so that means 40 goes here, has a quotient of 6. So that means the 6 is going to go right here, and a remainder of 16. So there it is. And it says find the number. Find our internal, that, that uh, dividend is what it is, the number inside the house. Well, we know that we can do that by taking our 40, because that's what we divided by, multiply by 6, that gives us 240, and then take our 240 and add in our remainder, 16, and we get 256. And so that tells us this number is what should be right here inside that division symbol there. So it should be 256, 256. All right, here's another word problem. A shipment of 288 textbooks has been delivered. Each of the 10 classrooms will receive an equal share. So that suggests we're going to divide. Uh, an equal share of the books, with the any extra books being stored in the book room. After the texts have been distributed to the you know the ten classrooms, how many books will be stored in the book room? So that means what we're going to do is we know that we've got ten classrooms. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we know that there's going to be ten books. No, no. We know an equal number of books are going to be delivered to each of these classrooms. And we have 288 books altogether. And we're supposed to figure out what are the leftovers, how many leftovers of that 288 um, are going to go into the book room. So really, if I wanted to be more precise, I would say, okay, the 288 is actually going to go beyond our our 10 classrooms and we want to know how many books are going to go in the 10 classrooms plus how many are going to go in the extra in that book room so it means we're going to divide I'm going to shrink the problem a little bit and move it up there and so we've got 288 divided by 10 and so 10 goes into 28 two times, that's 20 with 8 left over, and then we can bring down the 8, 10 goes into 88, 8 times, so there's our 80, and we have a remainder of 8 books left over. So what that tells us is it tells us that there's going to be 28 books in this classroom, 28 in this classroom, 28, 28 in all of these classrooms. And then what's going to be left over is going to be eight extra books in the book room. And that is the answer to that question. And so that's fifth grade, module two, lesson 19, where we are dividing uh, two- and three-digit dividends by multiples of ten.